Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. I want to show you how to do the drawing for that connecting rod. So that drawing would look something like this. And I could do it almost completely this one caused some problems but let's have fun with on shape okay so in order to get a drawing of that rod that rod is this part only so just go there right click go for create drawing of rod i want to use a iso a3 drawing template with no views confirm this and it will take a little while and an empty drawing should show up I want it to be 1 to 2 in scale and the front view is okay so let's put it here and of course it will not fit but I want to break the view anyway okay and let's do projected view down below escape now in order to break that view go to break view it should be vertical yes gap distance might be 10 that's okay zigzag or you could use a different curve so let's see there is no snap grid there is a table there is no snap grid so I hope I could adjust it very similar in both views so go here maybe like this and confirm let's move this over here and do one here maybe like that and like this confirm and just move it to the center maybe like that now let's add some center lines so this would be here here there here and there here, there and here, and maybe the center of this one, yeah, that should do for these, and I want to do a two-point center line, or the, this one is an edge-to-edge -edge center line, so I think I need this one, and I want to go here, like this to that point okay let's add some dimensions so first from that center to this center that would be the 750 same here from that center to this center again 750 now this should be 55 yes this one 165 and this will be red and this will be red this should be 10 and that one will not work so we'll go for a note here like this and make this r10 and confirm add some more dimensions this is 
R35. Well, this should be R35. Well, this should be 54. And no, sorry. This one to that one. That's 110. And I need the hidden lines. So check, show hidden lines. And now I could do that dimension here. Okay. Same on the other side. And you see you could align by those red traces. Again, I missed that line, happens, it's all in the browser, so sometimes it's a little bit slow. Now I've got it, okay. Okay, so let's add some more dimensions. I need one from the center, so I need that dimension D from the center here to that edge. And another one from the center to this edge. And I want to align it like this. Now in order to get the 61 I have to do some sort of trick. So I will select this center and that center which gives me that 6 millimeter dimension. Now I want to try to move this to snap it over here. So I got that 61. Great. Let's move to the other side. I need one from the center to this center. That would be the 60 here. Then from that center to this one, that would be the 55. Yeah, let's move it afterwards. Then from that center to this edge. That's kind of annoying. It should snap here. And this should snap there. Okay. And this should snap here as well. Then I want the 105 to this one. So go from the center here and see if we can snap here, yeah, we can snap here, so let's align it here. So what's missing? That is missing. That's the 65 and of course this one. So from this one to that one 45 and I need some sort of diameter symbol and that should be the diameter symbol and okay nice now for these 
I need this one. I need that one. That dimension. This dimension. Over here as well. Okay. This should be a diameter. Let's see if we can switch to diameter. Yeah, it's a diameter. Not necessary to switch. Okay. Then this should be a diameter. Of that one. A radius. here. Now distance from that center to this center. Same over here. It's not there. Then from the line to the center, line to center, and from center to center, and here again center to center. So let me check. I think I've got all the dimensions at least this time. So hope it was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please subscribe to my Facebook Catalan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. And as I've already mentioned, you can download the PDF on my GrabCat account. And of course, if you use Onshape, you could find my models by my name. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye.